Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip. Today we're gonna make a lightweight vignette preset. Only takes a minute and then you can use it over and over and over again. Now a vignette is one of those things I find myself doing a lot when I'm doing anything in After Effects. I always add a vignette. I've got a vignette preset, um, but there's lots of options to it. And because of all the options and different things it can do, it may not be the fastest way to render, but if you don't need all the options, there's a very lightweight way you can do that and turn it into a preset. And it's using the spotlight effect. Let me show you how to do it. So here I have some footage. I'm gonna select the footage. Let's go to effect, down to perspective, and then go to CC spotlight. And what that's going to do, you can see it makes it look like there's a light. And what we need to do, in order to make this a preset, you never know what size footage you're gonna have. And so let's put in a quick little expression to be able to automatically determine what size your footage is. So right here under the from, I need to basically have this centered. And we have this point here and this point here. And I need both of those to be centered. So I'm gonna option or alt click on the stopwatch on the from. And let's write a quick expression. So let's do W equals this comp dot width divided by two, semicolon. In that, make sure you have this capital C in comp. Then let's go H equals this comp dot height divided by two, semicolon. And then let's do a square bracket, W comma H end with square bracket and a semicolon. And then we need what we need to do is on the two, I'm gonna just pick whip to the from because I need them both to be in the centered. So now that that's centered, I can come into this height cone angle and edge softness. Let's bring the edge softness all the way up to 100. The height all the way up to 100 and the cone angle is going to be right around 50, maybe up to 60, just depending on what you want to see. I can change the intensity as well. So that is it. That is your lightweight vignette. Now to turn this into a preset, all I have to do is take this CC spotlight, make sure it's highlighted, Go to animation, save animation preset, give it a name, call mine vignette light, and it saves it to the presets. And now I can call upon this anytime I want. So let's just bring up the preset. Right there, vignette light, I can just drag, drop it on, and there it is. And because I put in that expression, it doesn't matter if this is 720p footage or even 4K footage, it's going to center it just right. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.